we were talking before, uh, I'll call it kind of myth busting. I mean, there, there are real issues around ETFs as, as we talk, real concerns. But whether it, you know, we were talking about some of the different myths around ETFs. I love the one about kind of, as we were talking about voting shares and, uh, you know, just owning the market yeah, and, yeah. and the like. But even kind of before that, I, I, this is one of my naive questions. I, 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 I still like to hear just how are shares created and redeemed? What's, what's that whole process like with ETFs? Yeah, I, I'm happy to dig into it. I think it's one of the things that um, I, one of a running joke I have with my wife is I've been explaining creation redemption since 1993, <laughs> and eventually I'll get it right. Um, and and it also changes, right? So the as the market has changed, so has this process. But in in a nutshell, there's a group of people called authorized participants, which is just a fancy word for a market maker who signed a contract with an issuer to be a special player. Uh, and authorized participants are the only ones who can put in an order with the fund company to either give a basket of shares back and receive either cash or securities in return or vice versa, deliver cash or a basket and get new shares of the ETF. The process actually to start at the end is completed in the NSCC overnight settlement process, just like every stock trade is. Every, so like every trade would like be done. Every trade goes through that overnight. The CNS is called Continuous Net Settlement. And the Depository Trust Corporation keeps track of who owns what, just like they do for your shares of IBM. So it, it runs through very well-established rails that the entire equity market uses. Uh, and it just happens to be a different kind of order type that matches up the creation of new shares and the delivery of a basket that they then hand back to the people who participate in the national security clearing process. So it all happens there. The, the why it happens, which is really the more interesting question, mm -hmm. is because somehow there becomes a disconnect between what an ETF owns and what people are willing to trade it for. So easiest example, everybody knows SPY, it's the S&P 500. If everybody wants to buy it all of the sudden, well, it's supply and demand. If there are not enough shares, eventually the price of SPY will creep up a little bit more, say on a percentage basis, than the underlying basket of the S&P 500 has. Right. And when that gap gets to be big enough and every individual market maker has to make their own determination about how big enough is, they will then make a balancing trade and effectively, oh, I'm going to sell SPY. It's too expensive. I'm going to buy the basket of stocks. It's too cheap. It doesn't really matter which one's off. Right. They put selling pressure on one and buying on the other. And that has the salutary effect of you know, evening out any arbitrage difference between the two of them. The market maker books the profit and then new shares are created overnight. If they then deliver at the end of the night, their short position and their long position for the NSCC to true up. All right, so, so the the market maker, the authorized participant, they're long one and they're short the other, and they go to the NSCC and say, "Here, fix, solve my problem. Fix this. Yeah. Solve my problem." Right, and what they so in in that case, if they were selling SPY and buying the basket, well, okay. They need, need, now need to deliver all that SPY they sold. They naked shorted a lot of SPY. They said, yeah, you can buy my SPY. It's too expensive. I will sell it to you at this premium price all day long and cash that extra money. Um, but then they have to eventually deliver, right? They have to actually settle that trade for, say, 50,000 shares of SPY. If they don't have it, they create it by handing that basket of securities. And then new shares are created. And then their books are flat, which is what every market maker wants. 